Oh man, dude, this thing's pulling to the left pretty bad. Yeah, it's yeah. not the road. You don't think it's the road? I don't think it's the road. Usually, road no. crowns to the right. Oh yeah, you you're hear right. That? I do hear it. it doesn't sound good. It sounds no, like I gotta pull over. Little flappies over bumps. What's going on? Oh no! Great! Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Has this ever happened to you? You're driving down the road, you can feel a little bit of a pull, and you start hearing like a thud, 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 when you're driving down the road. You look out the window or you hop out of the car, your tire's flat. Unbelievable. When does this ever happen? Never at the most opportune time. Whether it's raining, like it is for us today, or maybe you're driving down the side of the highway and you just don't want to pull over because you feel unsafe. Either way, maybe for some reason you decide to drive on it for a little while because, well, who cares about that tire? It's flat anyways. Now, why would somebody even drive on a flat tire anyway? It doesn't seem like it's the safest. Well, maybe they have one of these low profile tires like this. The sidewalls on these are gonna be much stiffer than the tires that are on a lot of most economic cars like this Toyota right here. Now, those walls are a little bit longer, so as the tire's flat, it's gonna have a whole bunch of extra material to be able to flop around. So you're gonna hear it and you're definitely gonna feel it. With this wheel right here, you're probably not gonna hear very much, but you'll probably feel it. Now, luckily for you, getting a flat tire isn't necessarily the end of the world. Is it inconvenient? Yeah, especially if you're on the side of the road or of course dealing with something like this in the rain. But if you catch it soon enough, you might not have caused too much damage to the tire. All you wanna do is just go ahead and inspect the tire. See if you can find something that might have caused the leak. On this one right here, I found a screw. If I was to fix this soon enough without necessarily driving on it for an extended period of time, typically I can just get away with using one of these. You have some tire plugs, these are very simple to use, and then of course there's a tire patch. Overall, the patch is gonna be a better fix for the tire, but it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do on the side of the road because you do have to technically break down the tire. If your tire came off the rim like this, you're never gonna be able to reinflate it on the side of the road, which is probably a good thing. To fix something like this, we're gonna have to go ahead and take it off of the car. So we're gonna jack it up, remove this one, and we'll install a spare tire. If you were to have driven on your rim, there's a possibility that you could have damaged it to the point that you might even damage a brand new tire. Looking at this one right here, you can see exactly where it got damaged. It was driving along the road, and of course the metal aspect of it, or on this one aluminum, got kind of peened over a little bit. If I'm very careful, I can go ahead and skim across this without cutting myself, but under the pressure of the tire on the ground, it could potentially ruin the new tire like I said before. Now this rim isn't cracked, chipped, it just kind of has some scuffs coming along it and a little bit of a sharp edge, but nothing really something that I'm super worried about. For this right here, I can go ahead and carefully sand it down so it's a nice smooth edge going all the way around where it's gonna touch up against the tire and I should be a-okay. But if you did happen to find that your rim was cracked or damaged in a way that you can't really repair it very easily, typically you're just gonna have to replace it. So you have a flat tire, you go ahead and you go to the trunk to grab your spare tire. You go to replace that flat tire, put it back down on the ground, your spare tire's flat too. Why is that? Nobody ever checks their spare tire tire pressure. So here's an example of what might happen if you were to try to reinflate a tire that you drove on while it was flat. Looking at this along the sidewall, you can tell that it has very minor damage on it. It doesn't look like it's very bad, but in all honesty, it can be very dangerous, especially when you're driving down the road. Now, if I was to take a closer look at this, maybe I turned it around, I might see something a little bit different. Yeah, I have the same markings where you can tell that the rim was grinding into the tire, but as you can tell right here, I have a giant bubble coming through here. This means that I broke the belts that are on the inside of the tire, which makes this an extremely unsafe tire. Not just having these lines on here, because having those on there is unsafe as well, but having a bubble like this can put you in a dangerous position. And that's just what's on the outside that I can physically see. Now imagine what's on the inside. Looking at this one right here, you can see exactly what happened. As I was driving for a little while, the rim started kind of rubbing into the sidewall quite a bit. And as that was happening, it was taking off a whole bunch of the rubber that's supposed to be located on the inside. Okay, so what have we learned here? Driving on a flat tire is gonna be unsafe overall. I definitely don't recommend it for any reason. Of course, there are gonna be times where you feel as though you're safer driving on a flat tire as opposed to maybe being on the side of a highway. 
Nobody wants to get out of the car on the side of a highway and try to change a flat tire over to their spare tire, especially if you haven't checked that spare tire pressure in a little while and it turns out to be flat anyways. Sometimes you're going to have to just drive on that flat tire to get to a safe area. That's understandable. But overall, if you drive on a flat tire, you could potentially cause some serious damage to the tire and it's probably not going to be reusable. So if you feel as though you have a slow leak on one of your tires, you're going to want to make sure that you get that checked out and fixed ASAP. The last thing you want to be is driving down the road on a flat tire. Okay, friends, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned a little something. If it's something that you think is interesting, feel free to share it with everybody that you know. I'd appreciate it. If you like the video, smash on the like button for me. I mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. That way there you can be kept up with all of our latest content. I'm getting out of here. Ooh, it's squishy. It's fine. It's totally fine.